Our next submitter is Liao Tildesley. Kia ora and welcome to the Justice Select Committee subcommittee. Am I saying your name correctly? Is it yes, Liao? It, yes, yeah. it is. You've said it correctly. Wonderful. Thank you. Welcome and thank, thank you. you for submitting. Um, I'm joined by my colleague, the Honourable Mark Mitchell, and we've allocated five minutes for you. So I'll just give you a little wave when we get to four minutes. Sure. So that you know. Morning, Leo. Morning. All right. Malo le soy foa, soy foa manu o le langi emama. My name is Liao, and today I would like to share with you my story. I am of Samoan and Scottish descent, and we came to this beautiful land because my mother needed a kidney transplant. Unfortunately, during my young, vulnerable years, things happened that shaped my life forever. I lost both my mother and my grandmother in the first 10 years of my life. For me, the difficulties were just beginning. Just so you have an understanding of how my life was shaped, I was sexually abused as a young age uh, by a family friend. This began the change of my perspective of myself. I began to try and do what I could do to not be attractive to men and hated myself as a female. At this young age, if I had gone to a trusted teacher or counsellor and told them how much I hated being a female, not disclose, disclosing what I went through, through fear, I truly believe the pathway that I would have taken would have been a very different one to the one I'm in current, uh, contently living now. I was confused about my identity because of a selfish act of somebody else. I wanted to stop being female because I saw being one was having to be weak and vulnerable. <clears throat> I'm so grateful to my family who then led me to having a relationship with God who gave me back my identity. I am not a victim. I refuse to allow the things that happened to me to shape me for my future. I have three incredible boys young men who if I'd gone down the direction of my 16 year old self, it would have been an entirely different ending. I needed common sense discussions then. I needed prayer around my hatred of myself. The spanning of conversion therapy would have been detrimental to my development. I object to the banning of conversion therapy because I see it as a silencing of not, not only people wanting to help, but especially those who are needing help the most. They should have a balanced perspective and not just one coming from the state. I have loved being a mother and I have seen my boys grow up and I want you to know that I know them best. Times they are happy, when they are sad or moody, I know them, I am their mother. I see this bill as a complete overreach of my authority over them. I will always have their best interest at heart and I pledge you to reconsider your support for this bill and allow us as parents to do our job well and that to bring as stable loving children to society. Um, thank you.